This last week has, I'm sure, been a whirlwind of all sorts of wild emotions and craziness. Um, but I wanted to really just give you the floor right off the start here um, to tell our listeners, our fans, our audience uh, about everything that's happened uh, and as much as you can tell them and uh, tell us, really, because we we haven't really gotten to talk about it. So uh, the floor is yours, my man. Yes. Uh, no, thank you. Um, obviously, I mean, honestly, I think last week's episode was great and I already knew what was happening. So I think we had yeah, a great right. show. Appreciate Jack's uh, Jack's interview uh, and was still able to talk about Detroit uh, seemed like in a fairly uh, respectful manner. So um, I, I, I think, first of all, I just want to say, uh, you know, thanks to the, all the folks uh, on the Internet. Um, you obviously, uh, you know, for, for me, uh, I cannot say much, uh, and that's that's obviously different for me. Um, you know, I I, I I'm uh, you know l- legally, uh, you know, I I am uh, not obliged. I'm not. I don't know what obliged means, but I'm, I'm not. I'm. I can't say anything. Uh, and and for me, that's uh, you know not how I like to treat our listeners. That's not how I like to treat the folks that appreciate the sport uh, and and support me. Uh, I love being honest with people, um, and uh, but I appreciate all the folks that reached out. There was a lot of incredible, uh, a lot of incredible people, uh, you know, uh, drivers, uh, you know, f- folks from teams uh, that I that I've known that believe in me, uh, you know, folks, fans. I mean, a, a lot, a lot of great people, uh, and and that meant a lot because it was, uh, you know, la- last week was a um, was a a surprise uh for me uh and it was it was definitely a a a life shift uh it was something that um you know i I know that there are people uh listening to this right now who are waiting for me to say something uh to you know potentially um you know to just let's just say waiting for me to say something um but i will not i will not uh, i will not do that Um, but I will thank the folks. I will thank the team. Uh, I will thank, uh, you know, bitnow.com is, is still very much, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 a, a partner of mine, uh, as, as are they a partner of Ed Carpenter racing? Um, and, and, you know, they will be on my rally cross car this weekend in a small fashion. They will be on my suit. Uh, they will be on my helmet, you know, have to thank them. Uh, you know, for, for their support, uh, and, and, and even, you know, bringing them into IndyCar, you know, meant a lot to me, bringing them in as a team, uh, a team effort to, uh, you know, Ed Carpenter racing. Um, and, and there, you know, there's a lot, uh, a lot going on for sure. Um, uh, you know, I listened to Marshall Pruitt's podcast and, and there was a lot that, that he said there. Marshall is a, you know, great friend of mine. A lot of the journalists who have reached out to me, uh, you know, I, I have not spoken to anyone because I, I, I can't, you know, this is my only outlet, but I can't use it as an outlet, which is actually the the most um, unfortunate thing about, uh, you know, s- some of, uh, you know, what has to be, uh, you know, what what goes on across this whole process. Um, but uh, but it's it's, you know, listening to Marshall Pruitt's podcast. There's a lot that that, uh, you know, makes me sad. Uh, but you know what it, for, for the, for the sake of professionalism, for the sake of, you know, the, the team that has supported me at Ed Carp, at Ed Carpenter Racing, the, the sponsor, the partner, you know, everyone at bitnow.com who I am very thankful to and for and consistently to and for, um, you know, we, we will, uh, we will not, we will not be addressing anything directly, um, and and it it uh, that's just how it is. So, um, you know, the, the the support meant a lot, you know, getting texts from some of the drivers, uh, you know, friends of the show that we've had on the show and, and, and friends mm-hmm. of, you know, friends of mine, uh, you know, Joseph Newgarden sent me a, 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 you know, really nice text, which meant a lot to me because I think he's a very, very close friend of mine. Um, and yeah, a lot of, a lot of great, uh, you know, it, it shows that people care, right. Which is, um, which is, I think very cool. Um, but obviously, uh, life is very different now, <laughs> but we are still an IndyCar program here. Uh, we, you know, we do still support IndyCar, uh, can't wait to, uh, you know, see the race this weekend at Road America. 
Uh, it'll be the first time that I have not been at an IndyCar race in uh, many years, I think, since like 2019. I might not have been at, no, every single one, probably 2018, I might have missed a race. Um, so that's very sad. Makes me sad. Um, but, uh, but very excited to, um, to be a nitro cross driver now as well. <laughs> so that's kind of what I've, uh, you know, what I, what I, I think I am able to say, uh, respectfully, uh, and appreciate those that, that listen to this show. Uh, even those that are, that are listening, um, for maybe, uh, not as positive reasons. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm excited to, um, you know, take on the future we're excited to uh see what is uh you know what the rest of this year has to offer uh and do it uh in a respectful fashion so there you go did that sound right (laughs) yeah hey yeah man i mean um well let me let me ask a few questions that you know I'll, i'll just ask them and if you can't answer you can't answer and if you can great um did you know or have an idea this would be happening while you're in the car in Detroit? Um, no, no, and I, I think I think that's I think that's fair to say. But no, I did not. <laughs> and that's all. I, that's all I will say. <laughs> okay. Was the next what what was was it? Right before our show, what's the time? Can you give it like, is there a timeline or you just not even want to get into that? Um, yeah, I probably can't get into it, but it, it was, it, it was, you know, the, the announcement obviously was, uh, as we released pretty much the day we released our show. Right. So yeah, that, that, yeah. that was, um, you know, that, that's kind of the timeline. Like I, I did not, uh, you know, uh, was informed, uh, of, of this decision and obviously, you know, in the racing world, things cannot be kept secret for very long. So, yeah. Uh, the goal was to, uh, you know, be, you know, that the, obviously the the information was released. There was, yep. there was quotes. Those were our official statements. That's why I'm not saying much more than the official statement, but appreciate those that have obviously read the statements. Um, you know, those that support the, those that support me, I appreciate that. Those that support the team, just everything mm-hmm. uh, in general, that's great. Um, I think there are, uh, um, there, there are a lot of people that I would say, uh, what I would say, let's, let's, and this has a hypothetical, right? L- uh, okay. Hypothetically, I feel like if I am to look at a sport that I might not know as much about on the deeper level, I would say I, I am not going to judge that sport or, or maybe pretend that I understand what's going on in, let's say football. Without uh-huh. really uh-huh. getting a you know a, a deeper look at at uh, football deals or, or or how contracts are worked or, or or why is that head coach going to this team and and this that or whatever, and I'm trying to be very very uh, high level view here, right? But big picture, but there's obviously yeah, yeah. it's it, racing can be the speculation capital of the world, right? Mm-hmm. And as any sport could be, I've, I've speculated about plenty of different things that I don't know about. Um, and I would say that is, uh, that, yeah, that, that is, is a lot of what I see and know that I see it. Um, but there's just, you know, that, that's all that, w- that we can do is, is, you know, what people could speculate all day long, but out of me i will just be me and i will be supportive and uh, um and i will go racing <laughs> and i will i will support the indycar races i will support you know bitnile.com cuz they're you know they're a loyal uh loyal friends of mine uh i consider them friends uh and and yeah and, and we will we will continue to take each day by day apparently <laughs> i think a lot of people would also like to know if this affects any of your future plans, what you're going to do with NASCAR coming up at Indy and anything else you got planned? Great question. All is, uh, all, all is, is, uh, you know, we, we don't know what the future is exactly holding yet. Right. Like a day ago, I'm now rally cross guy. You know what I mean? So like yeah, yeah, yeah. over the weekend, you know, Travis Pastrana mm-hmm. called me and, uh, you know, I, I know the folks at dry Rheinbold very well. Uh, great people known Dennis for a long time. Dennis has helped me out. In the past, when my 
uh, my Subaru broke down and it was in my garage and I needed a car to drive around. Dennis Reinbold gave me a car to drive around for a while. Uh, so he's always been a, a supporter of mine and, and, and a great friend. And I consider what he does at the Indianapolis 500 fantastic as a team that runs it, you know, uh, only one race a year that I think they do a great job with two cars. So to be, you know, that, that situation, literally, you know, the, the support that we got from those folks that are on the car, uh, you know, we, the people and savage for men and uh, 811 group, which is a, a great friend of mine, Ryan Hasbrook here in Indianapolis, uh, you know, put together some, uh, you know, some, some, some partnerships for this event to make it happen. Travis, you know, helped out a lot in making these connections happen, which feels great. You know, people, people still believe people want to help. Um, but as of right now, you know, that that's what I've got in front of me. So I'm, I'm going to focus on that. And, uh, and then realistically things change every day, but it's, it's all, you know, it's all going to be positive for sure. Now we know this weekend, I, maybe I missed the whole schedule. Do we just know that it's this weekend for you? Is it the rest of the season? What, 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 what do we got in terms yeah, of? Yeah, no. So the, 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 it's just this first race. Um, okay. so we've, we basically, cause they have a, a bit of time between the first and the second events and in, in the nitro cross season. Um, and so, yeah, so we got a little bit of, a little bit of time to figure it out, but it was, it was, uh, just odd timing that it worked out like, Hey, yeah, yeah. I'm now free next weekend. So <laughs> Travis was like, come on. And I was like, well, you know what? I do like racing. And, uh, you know, I, I do right. like, um, you know, trying new things. And uh, and this is definitely going to be very new for me. Complete in the deep end, fast electric race cars uh, that are crazy, jumps, all kinds of stuff. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's just kind of how we're going to go so far. There's a lot, you know, every day seems to be, different and i and i even got to vacation over the weekend as as looked, i was thinking about great. all this it was just crazy looked looked like a great time very beautiful <laughs> scenery was happy to see you and miss amy get to celebrate some yeah i i like wyoming a lot i'm not gonna lie i'd never been there uh i think there's a lot going on there with them geysers i don't know if you guys have ever been out there but they're there's like the big wyoming, old pimples right they they they, okay. they, they yeah. sprout over yellowstone yeah I'm convinced it's either aliens that put them there or that was a giant a giant meteorite that hit the ground and it's waiting to explode. Sure. But if you drive around a large portion of uh, the earth and it's all smoking, I don't know what else to think other than there might be a problem here. Yeah, so some, something's just, not right here. <laughs> I've, I've found that fascinating as someone who dives deep into uh, the history of the earth and, 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 and sees things like that, so... Uh, it was fascinating. Great to see. I uh, saw a bear almost attack some people, which was wild. Turns out, I think the bear was just trying to run away. Uh, and yeah, lots of animals. So a lot has gone on in a matter of really a week. Um, but there's been a lot of positive things. So we're going to focus on the positive things and avoid uh, any other other types of chatter, really. 